how to prepare for quant this is something that a lot of students struggle with particularly a lot of indian students if you have done 10th standard how do you actually prepare for 10th standard you mug up formula like ratta maro and you go and try to remember whatever you have mugged up in the actual exam paper you are told okay what are the objectives of this organization there are four objectives you mug it up and you go and answer in the particular exam this is not that kind of exam mugging uh, like ratta will not help you this is not the exam where you have to remember a lot of things here there are few things to remember there are formulas to remember there are concepts to remember but that is basically like 20% of the task as such just formulae learn the concepts uh, understand the concepts understand the theorems understand the formulae remember the formulae that's about 20% of the job so knowledge or learning is only 20% of the preparation so then what is the preparation as such the big chunk of the preparation is this practice part 60% of your preparation is essentially just practice solving 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 a lot of questions easy questions moderate questions hard questions difficult questions very difficult questions everything solve as much as you can that is basically what you have to do for like uh, if you really want to get to 70 percentile just learning the concepts would be enough if you going want to get to 90 percentile practicing questions a few questions 100 questions 200 questions would be important if you want to get to 99 percentile thousands of questions will be needed if you practice thousand questions if you learn how to solve and like really push yourself to solve a thousand questions and our study room has like thousands of questions as such if you push yourself to solve that you will get to 99 percentile but you have to solve them i can't just solve it you can't just see me solve it you have to push yourself to solve those questions because essentially this exam is not a knowledge based exam it is a skill based exam skill skill as in like you have like your carpenter right it's similar the carpenter basically chisels 10 times he knows how to chisel because he makes one thing 10 times he becomes very good at doing it the same way this is a skill based exam the art of solving a question is a skill it is not knowledge formula etc is just 20% of the job the rest job is basically developing the skill of solving the question that is their part of practice this is basically the bulk of your preparation that's why the live classes are super important they are every day and they are just focused on this practice solving 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 and then you will get the habit of solving from the very basic onwards and the last and most i would say critical to get to like 99 percentile is testing test basically means that you give mocks and sectionals if you give mocks and sectionals you'll get this feedback loop of where you are actually not doing well this is not a uh, static loop okay it's not that okay learn practice solve no it's learn practice solve mock go back and practice questions solve mock go back and practice question with every mock i want you to say if you take mock 1 identify three areas of weaknesses okay one of the areas of weaknesses is para summary another area of weakness is ratio and proportion another area of weakness is say geometry now before the next mock i want you to do 100 questions of each before the next mock solve lots and lots and lots of questions what will happen when you do that what will happen is that before the next mock you will become an expert in that particular topic this is the right approach this is the right way to actually look at the job